is the news on gist tv and on this platform we get to bring to you the gist news and update ranging from politics entertainment and the likes and today i'll be talking about governor akiri dolu of ondo state and his deputy the huge payments they receive monthly and how they have been wasting the resources of the state as revealed by akiri dolu's deputy the political fight between the Ondo State Governor, Oluwaru Timi Akiridolu, and his deputy, Agbola Ajayi, ahead of the state's October 10 governorship election, has deepened with each accusing the other of illegal financial dealings in the running of their offices. Mr. Akiridolu said, said his deputy receives 13 million naira monthly as running grant, which makes him the highest paid deputy governor in Nigeria. He also described him as greedy and lacking in contentment. Mr. Ajayi, however, while admitting that he collected the amount, said the cash was inconsequential when compared to what occurs to the governor's family monthly from the state's post. The deputy governor is running against his principal on the platform of the Zenith Labour Party. He had a stopover at the People's Democratic Party after dumping the All Progressive Congress in search of the ticket to run for the office. Mr. Akredelu is seeking a re-election on the platform of the APC, the All Progressive Congress, as his statutory four-year tenure rose to a close. The governor, who spoke while responding to questions on the state-owned radio station, explained that Mr. Ajayi had a free hand to operate with unfettered access to all state properties and to his office. He said two ministries were given to Mr. Ajayi to manage, but he was never satisfied. Agbola Ajayi is the highest paid deputy governor in Nigeria. As I speak, he earns more than the deputy governor of Lagos State. He earns over 13 million naira monthly as running grant for his office, Mr. Akredolu said. Ajayi is just a greedy man that lacks contentment. I gave him a free hand to perform as a deputy governor. I gave him two ministries to run. He constructed roads. He built a number of schools. His wife also built a number of schools. The list is endless. Ajayi enjoyed more benefits than his predecessors as a deputy governor but was only greedy. He had a free access to all the state properties. He had a free access to me and all documents. He was even nicknamed Arakone Kekere, small gentleman. So, a man that would betray you would betray you no matter how you treat him. I have left Ajayi to God and posterity to judge him. In reaction, Mr. Ajayi said the governor's claim erroneously gives the indication that he was collecting the sums illegally. The deputy governor is surprised that the governor could go to the press announcing the sum of 13 million naira as what the deputy governor gets, as if it was a gift for personal use and not for the use of the office, Alan Shoure, media aide to Mr. Ajayi, said. A statement is reproduced in part below. He said, the deputy governor states that what comes to the office until Akeridoru refused to release same was 12 million naira per month. This includes the interest of his office, allowances of staffs, fueling of vehicles, car of his residence, and welfare of his aides. Huge as the amount may appear, it amounts to not as much when the aides and numbers of individuals it caters for are considered. This also pales to nearly nothing when compared to what Akre Dolu and his members of his family scheme off the pulse of our state with reckless abandon. For instance, the governor gets a security vote of 750 million naira every month. He, Akredoli, also gets an impress of about 150 million naira. His wife, though, occupies no constitutionally recognized position and takes an impress of 15 million naira per month. Apart from this, she collects an additional sum of 11 million naira per month from the Ministry of Women Affairs, which she runs like a potentate. Baba Judy Akredolu's son is also not left out in the pillage that Akredolu and his family is visiting on Ondo State. He too takes a whooping sum of 5 million naira monthly 
and rips off the state by taking unbelievable commissions as a consultant to the state on almost every imaginable areas. All these are parts from millions and millions they get from inflated contracts awarded to family members and lackeys. But the governor, through his secretary, his true press secretary, Shegun Ajigoye, also responded to the allegations. He said his boss, earlier, 13 million naira revelation had only exposed the entrenched character of the deputy governor. True to type, Ajayi has resorted to lies and fabrications that Mr. Governor gets a monthly payment of 750 million naira as security vote, Mr. Ajiboye said. This brazen misinformation is not a surprise, but a true reflection of the unstable and treacherous content in Ajayi. The public is ought to take advantage of the Freedom of Information Act to integrate both statements to interrogate both statements by Mr. Governor and Ajayi for the avoidance of doubt. The state bureaucracy which processes such payments is very available to confirm the veracity or frivolity of either of the statements. The October 10 governorship election is between integrity and the absence of it. The patent greed, which has provided motivation for the treachery and perfidy of Ajayi, appears to have created further parts of dishonesty to oil his political misadventure. Succinctly, he is misled by his mind of greed. By his antecedents, Agbola Ajayi would have wittingly provided evidence of the payment of such huge amounts even before now, if it was true. Well, this is a fight between you know two men that are in power. One, the governor of Ondo State, Mr. Akredolu, and his deputy Agbola Ajayi, and these two are actually on each other's neck, regardless of the fact that the governorship election is fast approaching. Now. After all these amounts were calculated, about 900 million euro monthly are actually being wasted. In another source, it was reported that Governor Akredolu has been accused of mismanaging the 900 million euro that he gets monthly. This accusation, as said earlier, was made by his estranged deputy Ajayi in a statement on Ondo State Funds. Ajayi claims followed Akredolu's revelation that the deputy earned 13 million euro monthly. The governor denied all the allegations and urged the public to verify the claims from Ondo State's public, publicly available financial records. Ondo Deputy Governor Agbola Jai has accused the governor, Ruti Miyakredolu, of mismanaging funds allocated to him every month. According to Ajayi, Akredolu gets a whooping sum of 900 million naira monthly and also allegedly misfunds mismanage the funds, which includes you know, the security funds, 750 million naira, and another 150 million naira for some other things which includes those cash that his kids and his family members and his wife especially gets regardless of the fact that his wife doesn't really hold any uh constitutional uh political position in undo state it was said that in the breakdown ajayi offered in a statement through his media advisor alan shawure he claimed Akredolu got 750 million naira as security votes and 150 million naira as impressed, just like I said earlier. He said the governor gets a security vote of 750 million naira per month. He, Akredolu, also gets an impressed of about 150 million naira. The deputy governor also went to on to accuse the governor's family of also receiving funds that they manage personally. Ajayi additionally accused the governor of underdeveloping on those coastal regions by mismanaging their 13% derivation funds. He would then want the governor to stop attacking him in the press because he would keep revealing secrets of the state government. Ajayi said, this act of indecorum must stop. This is a notice to Governor Akredolu that two can play the game. The deputy governor is of the view that indiscretion and vacuumness and attributes are attributes that should be alien to orders of high office. In reaction, Governor Akredolu has denied all of Ajayi's claim, speaking through his media aide, Shegun Wajiboye. The governor said the records are available for anyone to confirm. Well, we all know that these records are, you know, actually, uh, we have folks behind it. They, they can actually be you know, edited and, you know, they, they, might, they might actually print out lies for uh, the people of Ondo State. 
so there is no solid proof to, to how they actually mismanage these funds. The general public is urged to take advantage of the Freedom of Information Act to interrogate both statements by Mr. Governor and Ajayi. Well, let's sit back to any new developments. We get to update you on GStube TV as things actually unfold between these two men in power. You know, Mr. Governor Akre Dolu, the governor of Ondo State, and his deputy, Mr. Agbola Ajayi. The voice you are hearing is Akrizi. Subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop spanking and amazing content. Till next time, peace.